Kosmos. Ukrainian forces hunt Russian recon drones more successfully, Russian complaints increased. The Russian military complains about the interception of its reconnaissance copters by Ukrainian drone hunters, according to Militani media outlet. It is noted that Ukrainian forces have already proved their ability to intercept Russian medium-sized reconnaissance drones of the fixed-wing type using FPV drones. And this trend seems to be spreading to small reconnaissance drones like Mavic. Telegram channels affiliated with the Russian army are increasingly complaining about the loss of their frontline scouts to Ukrainian drones hunting them. In particular, the Black Swan Strike Group of the 225th Separate Assault Battalion recently posted a video of a drone operator ramming a Russian Autel copter, causing it to crash. Another successful aerial duel from the Black Swan pilots. This time, the invaders lost an Autel reconnaissance drone. I wonder how our pilots find them. The military commented on the result of the strike. According to Militani media outlet, the potential loss of a significant number of reconnaissance drones by the Russian army could severely hamper their ability to control the battlefield and adjust artillery fire. This may give the Ukrainian military an advantage on the battlefield. The video shows the downing of an enemy copter without the loss of a Ukrainian drone. But even if it were lost, it would still be beneficial as the difference in cost could be a multiple of five FPV drones. In early May, the Ukrainian defense tech support cluster Eve one started looking for developers to create interceptor drones. Our goal is to bring together developers and engineers who will create effective solutions to destroy enemy reconnaissance drones such as Zala, Olan, Supercam, the statement read. That same month, the first video of a Russian Zala 421-16E reconnaissance drone being intercepted by a Ukrainian FPV drone was posted online. Since then, Ukrainian drones have destroyed many Russian reconnaissance aircraft in the air, including other Zalas, all antennas, and even a Lancet loitering munition. At the same time, other Ukrainian units continue to search for Russian reconnaissance aircraft control centers and their operators for further destruction with high-altitude weapons. Russian servicemen who refuse to assault are tied to equipment and sent to the assault in Ukraine. Andriy Otyanash, the crew commander of the Kara Nebesna UAV with the 4th Rubies Operational Brigade of Ukraine, explains how the Russian command uses its personnel. He said this on Espresso TV. It seems that the Russians are sometimes more afraid to go back than to storm the positions of the armed forces. The invaders have different firing squads. Some Russian servicemen who refused to assault were tied to equipment and sent to the assault on the principle of survive or not survive. This is how they intimidate the personnel. They say that if one of them does not want to go on the assault, he will be shot, then everyone will be willing to go, said Otchenash. According to him, the Ukrainian Defense Forces and the Rubies Brigade are working to ensure that such an attitude does not exist in the occupied territories of Ukraine. Russia is an absolutely imperialistic country with an anti-human attitude. We are working to eventually free the temporarily occupied territories from this terrible oppression. We have met captives from the temporarily occupied territories who told us that they were offered three options. Go to the front, be shot or have their families threatened, he added. 
Today, Russia is very active in the area where the Rubis Brigade is holding the line, but the Ukrainian armed forces are fighting back, Otschenash said. The Ukrainian armed forces have repelled the enemy's last assaults quite successfully. Thanks to unmanned aerial systems and drops, about 20 Russians were eliminated. This is a good result and an indicator that the assault actions are increasing. Russia is trying to find weaknesses in the Ukrainian army. For their part, the armed forces are doing everything possible to stop the Russian offensive.